Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we'll be reviewing the GNU Gremlin. That's right, GNU's volume shifted board. This board features Mervin's C3 camber profile, which is a camber 2.0 with a hinge point right between the feet. And then it comes down and kind of mellows out before the up kick in the tip of the tail. It gives you the load and snap of traditional camber, but an ease of entry when you're loading into a turn, as well as giving it a better flat spot to pop off of. This board is available at 148, 152, 155, and 158. I rode this board at Loveland Ski Area in the preseason on a 10 inch powder day. So there was fresh snow in the middle of the runs, perfect corduroy on the sides of it, average visibility, zero wind, colder temperatures, and I rode it with my Rome Black Label Bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. This board has an ever so slightly above middle of the road directional flex. So you do get a softer nose stiffening up through the middle to the tail with a decent amount of torsional flex. It's not like mind blowing, it's there, you notice it. There's boards with more and there's boards with less. And the stability of this board is pretty dang solid. With that wider platform, it cuts through crud. It doesn't get bucked around. At high speeds, you get a little bit of chatter out the nose, but it never fully resonates back underfoot. Overall, the board feels damp, yet still retains its liveliness, so it's not a dead-ass plank. This board has snap, from the camber profile, to the flex pattern, to the actual shape of the board. When you load it up, you're gonna get rebound, you're gonna get snap. It's an easy camber profile to load up, and when it activates, you notice that there's a spring point right outside the back bindings, and it just slingshots you into the air. This is a board that wants to get in the air. You wanna hit a side hit, it becomes a launch ramp. Ollie off a roller, you're clearing that stupid family of skiers that doesn't know what they're doing down below. It's one of those boards. Like I said, it's easy to engage, yet you're gonna get optimal spring and snap out of it. So when it comes to butters, you got this optimal spatula-like scoop out here in the nose that you can really press into and you're still gonna get spring and snap. It's one of those boards that lets you swivel and sizzle, especially in deep snow. You can just feel it when you get up on it and it locks in, but then it pops you back out. I mean, you can do just about any butter variation in deep snow or even on a grimmer. With the tail, a little more speed, you're gonna do more of a wheelie on it. That's kind of to be expected. I mean, you have roughly this much space to get stuff done with back there. This board is really maneuverable. When you're on edge, you feel locked in and that magnet traction grips. So when you're in firm snow, you feel locked in and you can really drive this board. You can push into that C3 camber profile and feel that hinge point flex the board, which gives you from the middle to the back contact point, this edge that you can lock in and drive out of a carve but it still initiates off the front. Like I said, it's quick and nimble, so that transition from toe to heel is very smooth. And when you're laying a carb out, you lock in and you can just swoop from one side of the run back to the other. Whether you're doing short, tight, quick carbs or long, hard, drawn out Euro carbs, it does it all and with ease. You never feel like you're gonna get knocked around. You never feel like it's gonna disengage at all. It just remains locked in. So who's this board for? The free ride focused resort rider, someone that wants a volume shifted board that's camber dominant. I love this board. This thing was absolutely phenomenal. It lets you slash with ease, it stays locked in, you got power from the mid of the board back, and overall, you got that spring and snap so you can boost anything on it. This thing is amazing to ride. It's damp yet lively, which is what you want. You don't want it to be dead. And when you're on edge, you can just go from zippy little quick turns to long, hard, drawn out carbs without thinking about it. That magnet traction works. You got the giant spatula-like nose for buttering and you got like a wheelie bar on the tail. Overall, the Gremlin is absolutely amazing. Comparable boards, the Telos Backslash, the Ride Super Pig, the Rosinal Sashimi. This has been my review of the GNU Gremlin. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not gonna miss any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. 
And if you really want to support us and just help us grow out what we're doing over here, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, David Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.